What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com here today with an incredible update to Audio Evolution Mobile. Now, there was a video I did comparing Cubasis to Audio Evolution Mobile that you could check out here. But in it, I specifically said something about the trackpad and scroll wheel support, which I'll play back here. Audio Evolution Mobile does not support scrolling whatsoever on the arrange window at this time. I've been informed by the dev that this is planned to be added. So maybe it'll be in the not too distant future. By the time you're watching this video, it will have already been added. But currently today, it is not able to be done vertically or horizontally inside the arrange window. And now that we are into a new year, we have a new update and there is a new set of features. And I'm just gonna mention this one here first, even though it's out of order. Added mouse, scroll wheel, and trackpad support. Sensitivity and axis reversal can be changed in the settings. So what I said in the Cubasis and Audio Evolution Compared video is now old news because it has mouse scroll wheel and trackpad support and we're going to compare that trackpad support versus what i said about cubasis's trackpad support but anyways the rest of the update says the output of midi tracks can now be sent to aev3 audio effects that accept midi in the effects screen after an effect with midi support is loaded select the midi button and then midi track input as I said before, added mouse scroll wheel and trackpad support, added a rename option to the MIDI clip pop-up menu, improved the accuracy of audio clip selection when two audio clips are adjacent, improved the accuracy of clip edge selection on higher resolution screens, added a reference pitch 440 to 460 setting to Vocal Tune Studio, when pasting an audio clip from the internal clipboard that was deleted from storage, the app would crash that's now been solved and solved a crash in Vocal Tune Studio that could occur when only a few notes were detected. And moving a MIDI clip would set its clip volume settings to default that's now been solved. All right, so we got Audio Evolution Mobile loaded here and let's go ahead and add a track and let's add say a midi instrument track we'll just go default and let's add a midi track and let's add an audio track and another midi instrument track and another midi instrument track all right so as you can see we are able to very comfortably scroll i don't know if you can tell but you can see stereo grand at the top here i'm now scrolling up and now stereo grand is at the bottom because i've uh, scrolled past everything else and then if i want to scroll left and right you can see it starts at bar one and now we can go ahead and scroll to what would this be considered the right I don't know which way you consider scrolling, but yeah, the right and then back to the left again. And yeah, that works. And why is this important versus Cubasis is scrolling? I guess let's call it north and south only. The reason why this is important is because when you're actually in the act of making a song, right? Verse one, depending on the tempo, might start right here around your, your eight bar count, depending on your tempo and how you laid your song out and the arrangement. But, you know, there's times where you now want to like you might have done your hook already and you're ready to just hit verse two. And so you can just easily scroll, get to say verse two if it was at 49 or probably 57, something around here. And now you're ready to jump into verse two and, you know, one track or two tracks it's not really that big a deal but as you start to get into high track counts it's really important to be able to navigate your project without clicking and pulling you know i'm trying to click and pull here there we go click and pull because when you click and pull you risk moving audio clips and by the time you find out that you've moved an audio clip sometimes that can be let's say 50 undos ago right you might be past the undo limit 
or you might have made a myriad of changes to the track, not accounting for the fact that you moved an audio clip. And now you are able to easily with two fingers on a trackpad scroll without actually clicking anything. It's a really beautiful situation. Now let's go over this new feature here. The output of MIDI tracks can now be sent to AEV3 audio effects that accept the MIDI. In the effects screen after an effect with MIDI support is loaded, select the MIDI button and then the MIDI track input. So let's check out what that's all about. Let's go to our stereo grand track here, which is a MIDI instrument track. And track two is just a MIDI track. You can see there's uh, the instrument here and on this one there is no instrument it's just um, got the MIDI input and output information but let's go ahead and actually see now if we add an effect and I don't know what effects natively support this so I'm gonna just pick a random effect with MIDI at the end of the name and hopefully it'll populate some kind of option to get um, the MIDI in okay so we got MIDI here we can go MIDI track input and then track two. So now it's able to, I believe, send uh, the MIDI information from this track into this one here. And why is this useful? I'm not exactly sure. This isn't a workflow I've ever tried, but the first thing I would guess is maybe something to do with triggering or side chaining or something like that. If you know the use case for this specific feature, let me know down in the uh, comment section because this isn't something I've tried before. So I definitely want to get a better understanding of the utility of it. But it's really cool that we're now able to do this. And so far as I know, I haven't seen this on many, if any other DAW apps on iOS. So that is actually pretty cool. So. Yeah, that is how you get that to work. Again, if you know the specific use case for it, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to understand more of your use case for this specific feature. Get an Atom clip loaded and all right. So now I'm gonna copy and paste this MIDI. All right, so we've got our, our MIDI clip here and it's currently called Stereo Grand and we can rename it to uh, test one, two, three. And that's now the name of the MIDI clip. I never knew this couldn't be changed, but I guess it couldn't if it's being called a new feature, added rename option to the MIDI clip pop-up menu. But yeah, there you go. You can now name your MIDI clips, which I think is super useful. Um, I know some people like to go, you know, like intro, chorus, verse you know all that you can now you know name regions if you want i don't know if you can color the individual midi clips that would be cool to be able to get also is to color i think when you color it it's probably for the entire track let me see if i paste it from ios clipboard if it colors them both if i go to track options color and let's make it like purple yeah, it does it for everything. So yeah, it'd be cool to just like we can get the individual rename here. It'd be really cool to get an individual color coding system as well. So hopefully in a future update, we can get that. So as you can see, trackpad support is finally here along with a few other features, which is always welcome for me with Audio Evolution Mobile. At this point, it's, you know, feeling like, I don't know, Audio Evolution Mobile might got it in the bag, you know, for audio recording and, you know, vocal tracking and things like that. I don't know that there's a better solution overall. I also really like Multitrack Studio or MTS. My only issue with it, though, is it's really tricky with respect to arranging things. You know, it's not the easiest place to arrange audio. So for the audio arrangement and the power of the tools and whatnot. I really got to, you know, give it to Audio Evolution Mobile right now. I think it's uh I think it's doing its thing, but yeah, it's a very welcome update. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates and more. 
What do you think of Audio Evolution Mobile? What do you think about the pace of the updates? What's your favorite feature about Audio Evolution Mobile? Have you tried Vocal Tune Pro? Have you tried Vocal Tune Studio? Is trackpad support important to you? Are keyboard shortcuts important to you on iPad apps? Let me know. I know there's not that many keyboard case owners, but I think this is a very, very useful feature for those of us who want to be able to have modular workflows with our iPad, sometimes on the touchscreen, sometimes keyboard, and sometimes the mouse support. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And with all that said, it's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace.